Now Gideon had all these men with him, and as they had left that place, they came on down here to the well of Herod. There were many, many men with him. And they got down there, and God said, Gideon, you got too many men. There's just too many of you because Israel will take credit for the for winning, for me giving them the glory of the victory. No, no. He said, I want you to go and tell the men, if you're afraid, if you're fearful, pack up and go home. So Gideon thought, mm, okay. So he walks back to where the men are and he says, all right, guys, if there's any of you that are a little bit afraid or a little fearful, pack up and go home. It's okay. Pack up and go home. So 22,000 <laughs> packed up and went home. So then God came to Gideon again and said, Gideon, uh -uh, you still got too many men. He says, this is what I'm going to have you do. He says, I want you to take these men, lead them down to drink. He said, and I want you to watch how they drink. He said, there will be some that will get down on all fours and lap the water up like a dog. And there's going to be others who's going to take that water and cup it in their hand and bring it to their mouth and drink. He says, now I want you to watch. Because those that get down and drink like a dog, they're going home. So Gideon stood there and he says, okay guys, let's go get a drink. So they go down and lo and behold, all these men started getting down on all fours. And Gideon was looking and, you know, getting, hmm, let's see here. Oh, okay. And out of that bunch, Gideon had three, <laughs> 300 men <laughs> that took the water and cupped it and drank it. And the rest of them, they had to go home. So later on that night, God comes to Gideon again and says, Gideon. I want you to sneak into the edge of the camp of the Midianites. And I want you to listen. And I want you, I want you to observe what's being done. And Gideon, if you're afraid, take your servant with you. So Gideon and his servant went down to the edge of the camp. And Gideon listened and listened. And he heard a man talking and he said, I had this dream that a loaf of barley bread rolled into the camp and flattened the tent. And the guy next to him says, I know what that means. He said, that loaf of barley bread, that is the sword of Gideon, the Israelite. And the flattened tent, that means God has given the Midianites over to him. At that point, Gideon just praised the Lord and thanked him. And he took his servant and they ran back to camp. So they're at camp. Everybody's laying there sleeping and Gideon goes, get up guys, we're going. This is what we're gonna do. He said, I'm gonna divide you into three groups of 100. 100 over here, 100 here, and 100 here. We're gonna go down to the Midianite camp, just along the edge, we're not gonna go in, and I want you to be quiet. He said, everyone take a trumpet, everyone get a jar, an empty jar, and we're gonna put a torch in there. And when I give the cue, you watch me, you listen for what I tell you to do because we're going to go down there, we're going to blow the trumpets, we're going to shout the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Got it? They got it. So they all went back down and encompassed the, the Midianite camp. <coughs> and so um, Gideon took and he stood up and he took his trumpet and he blew it, broke that jar and the light shone through and they all did this in unison. It was just an enormous sound that came out of them and they shouted the sword of the Lord and of Gideon oh my goodness the Midianites didn't know what was going on they jumped up they ran into each other they started running every direction and then they started drawing their swords and killing each other so at this point Gideon says sends a messenger back to get the men that he sent home and said come on down guys and they came down and they they ended up getting the rest of that Midianite camp out of there. They were gone. There were no more. And for 40 years after that, they had peace.